three, the crisis of 1907. There was a dramatic drop in the stock market. It caused dramatic squeeze on credit. So the classic thing where all of a sudden there's a new story where, where something's gone wrong in the financial system, everyone goes to the bank, withdraws their funds, and all of a sudden now the bank is stuck. They are in an insolvent position. Two, the crisis of 2008. Some of the problem in the global crisis was mortgages and dividing them up into small bits and selling them. They weren't really worth what the sellers were saying they were worth. You know, when you start driving competition to the point where people do crazy things, and there's a theory that says that's the reason that all these American banks got in trouble, the traders started to run the place. One, the Great Depression. When Roosevelt was inaugurated, there were machine gun nests at the corners of the great federal buildings in Washington for the first time since the Civil War. And the unemployment rate is between 25 and 33 percent. Very much compounded by the Smoot-Hawley tariff, it led to a world war of beggar by neighbor.